Uh, Rachel Morin's family uh, has been doing their own investigative work, canvassing uh, the Ma and Pa Trail and, and surrounding neighborhoods three times. They're doing it themselves, going out there door to door, handing out flyers in English and Spanish with info about the case and the suspect. Uh, the man leading those efforts uh, is Matt McMahon, father of Rachel's oldest child. He joins me now. This is his first uh, national interview, and, and we appreciate him being with us. Also joining me is Rachel's sister, Rebecca Morin, and the Morin family attorney, uh, Randolph Rice. Uh, all three of you, thank you so much for, for being with us. I know how, how difficult this is every single day. Matt, I want to start with you because we haven't spoken with you before. I'm very, very sorry for your loss. Um, I, I know that for you personally, you have this very personal feeling that you have to get out there and help find this guy. Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, not just because Rachel was part of my life for, for 19 years, um, but because she's the, the mother of, of my daughter uh, and four other amazing children, all of whom I absolutely love. Um, so I need to do it for me, for the children, uh, for Rachel, and also to make sure that, that nobody else experiences what we experienced and, and what Rachel experienced. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine how how are the how are the the children doing tonight, Matt? Um, all the children are doing differently, just because they're they're unique individuals. Um, they're doing the best that they can. Uh, they're delighted to hear that the reward has been increased. Um, the only thing that any of them really want is to have this suspect apprehended, um, so they understand that this might move that uh, a little bit closer to reality. Um, but they are struggling, um, as would be expected. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, again, I, I can't imagine what, what they're going through. Rebecca, um, are police telling you anything new? I mean, we just heard from the sheriff. To me, it seems like good news that they are at least baby steps, but it's still progress. The fact that they identified the arm, that they're out doing interviews. Is there anything uh, new that you've learned, Rebecca? Um, they haven't given me any new information at all. Um, pretty much what you know is what they've told me also. I think, Rebecca, the, the doubling of the reward, though, is huge, um, because money talks, sadly, uh, to some of these people out there. And, uh, and that could really make a difference. Unfortunately, it does. And I'm really hoping that by doubling the reward, somebody who really does know something will come forward soon. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. I, I want to ask you, because you've canvassed the area yourself, you've been out there repeatedly looking around, looking for clues. W what have you noticed about that area, Matt? What, what stands out to you? Um, um, oh, sorry, yeah. Go ahead, ahead, both of you, I'll start with Matt, though. I'm curious, because I know that you've, you've spent some time out there, Matt. Well, during our first canvassing, uh, the one item that stuck out the most um, was a lack of the uh, Spanish-speaking Hispanic community in, in knowing that anything had even happened, uh, including families that live just a couple hundred feet from the trail. Um, we heard that a lot from uh, several different volunteers. Um, that's one of the reasons we're handing out uh, bilingual uh, flyers, and that was also the catalyst for uh, the digital campaign campaign that uh, Mr. Rice uh, had launched for us. Which it sounds like ha has been successful so far. A lot more tips have come in. Uh, obviously, um, Rebecca, we're so focused on the search, the manhunt for this guy. We want to get all the little details out with that. But I just I don't want to lose focus of of who your sister was. Um, and I just I, I want people to know what I mean. I've t I've I've talked to to you guys before about this, but I, I just want people to remember how amazing she was. Tell tell us a little bit um, about Rachel, Rebecca. Well, I can tell you that the thing that people noticed the most about her was her smile and her laugh. She had a great sense of humor. She was so much fun to be around. Um, I would have to say our best memories were during the holidays. She was always the last one to show up when we all got together. But when she did show up, it would be, it got louder, it got warmer, it got brighter, and it got a whole lot funner. <laughs> And she was working on a book. Yes, she was. Um, she went through a lot of things in her life. And so she decided to start writing a book for young teen girls about um, developing good relationships 
and um, self-esteem. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.